Alrighty. Alright everyone, hello, welcome here to LARP. I am here with and damn it. And I'm with my buddy, and that is Crazier1000, aka God Damn It Danny. Although you can and still look up Crazier1000, that's his OG name. You'll still find his YouTube account, and you can find where eventually in the future he's going to start doing videos of his own, just like I'm doing. But I'm role playing as a character named uh, Christopher Carter, and I'm new here. I just bought this trailer. It's a rusty trailer. I don't got much, but I spent most of my money on a new little factory I got. It's just a little shop. It's my tow yard. And basically, I'm a tow truck driver, but um, before I go get ready to go to work, because we're looking for a certain car that we don't know where it's at, I'm going to go meet my neighbor. I know this is a little sketchy little area. Lots of neighbors have, like, chairs and whatnot outside, tables. They got cars covered up and whatnot, so... I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I know that I think I got some neighbors to, oh wait, is, it, is there a neighbor out there? Yep, and see, as I was talking about, another neighbor over here, he's got a covered up car over here. Hey man, what's up, man? What's going on, man? God damn it. No, not much, uh, I'm your new neighbor. Alright, yeah, I've seen you guys coming in and out of here all the time, man. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not much, man, yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah I, just... I like your fancy little getup you got going on, man. It's pretty slick. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just, I, I just woke up. I saw you out here. I figured to come say hi before I go to work. Yeah, man, I'm just out here. Partying. I was working on the old beater, and then I was trying to mow the grass and whatnot, and yeah. Yeah, you, you mind, uh, you, you want to uncover that car? Can I look at it? Uh, sure, man. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Right over. Yeah, this is a nice car. This is a really yeah. nice car. It's an older Glendale, man. I try to keep up with it, considering I got a shit fucking trailer. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice car. Yeah, man, it, it does the job. I've, I've come across a bunch of different cars in, mm -hmm. uh, in the past. Oh. But, yeah, it's all right, man. It's, it's old school. <laughs> I think... Uh, uh, what, what what was your name again, man? My name is Christopher. What a K. Christopher with a K. Yeah, not not a C H. K R I S, like, what a K. Ah, uh, that's too many numbers in my head, man. I don't know. Oh shit! But yeah, he, I'm Dave. You can call me Uncle. You can call me Wino. Call me drunk. Just don't. Call me late for dinner, goddammit, because <laughs> I always show up. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, I, I got to get out of here. I'm going to, I got to get ready to go to work and you know, all and all. But it was nice to meet oh, you, man. Yeah, man, I've been I'm retired now. I used to do roofs, stuff, roofing like that. I've done roofs higher in that tree. I've done roofs like that, and uh, I'm retired now, so I mostly spent all my money on booze and fix up my tractor it's all around in the it's in the shed right now but That's i like fine. to take them off take off roading and stuff like that yeah. i used to like to climb towers like that guy and, oh really? but yeah well in my younger years like, i was probably around your age but shit i'm in the 60s now man but but, but i mean but doesn't that thing got like a danger sign on there like you shouldn't be climbing right. that uh, who cares about that danger sign, man? I've lived, I've lived a good life and I'm still doing it, as you see. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head my ass down to the strip club and see if I can get any bitches. All right, oh, well, later, bro. All right, man. You be safe out here. Love you too, man. All right, I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna go pick up my car and then, uh, yeah. And then I'll meet you at the oh, code, code word, uh, code word will be uh, my click click. Okay, yeah, does yeah click click uh, yeah. Okay, all right, I muted myself. Mhm. Mm
Just make sure you do the same thing in Discord as well, so I don't hear you. Open it up. All right, so we're gonna be getting out of here, go to work, and it's my lucky day. All right, let me unlock my car. But yeah, it's my lucky day because uh, we're going to be heading down to my shop and the reason why it's my lucky day is, well, that car uh, basically is a car that we've been looking for for months. Now, I am someone that moved from Liberty City and I basically am Christopher Carter and I've always worked at a towing yard down there and I moved out here to other than Los Santos, aka Los Angeles. And I basically got myself none other than, well, a tow yard of my own and a tow truck. And that's been a car since I've been living inside the uh, trailer. Uh, I mean, not trailer. Um, none other than basically hotels and stuff for the past few weeks since I've been here. I can sit and put my money towards my little shop and setting it up and whatnot. I'm going to go pick me up none other than uh, my tow truck. And we're going to go down to that set strip club where he's at. And we're gonna we're gonna go pick us up a repo that we've been looking for for months. I don't know how that dude's been ducking us, and that's not the address that we have on file. And apparently, he said he was buying the trailer, but the trailer he has marked down on uh, none other than what he gave us on the repo order. It says something totally different, and that's not his trailer that he was supposed to be putting the money towards. And yeah, it's just a set or drill now. That things could be changed and things could be made and fixed and we're gonna take his car but the only way he could fix those things is he has to physically come down to the office he has to pay the said money the, the four G's in return that he owes us he gives us the four G's back he gets his car back and whatnot and hopefully he caused no problems because I don't like people that cause problems. I'm just doing my job. I got a repo that came in and they told me that I need to pick up this car. I'm just doing what I'm asked. They're just like anyone that has a job. Obviously you're going to go to your job and your boss is going to tell you to do something which technically I'm my own boss but I got to listen to the people that are giving me the jobs to do and whatnot. And I got to listen to them and I got to do what... Well, basically what I'm told by them and they tell me to go pick up this car and that's the car I gotta go pick up so we're gonna go pick up the car and hopefully there's no problems and no hassles and yeah we'll just hope for the best that's all I could tell you I mean I dealt with many people in Liberty Cities that they just do whatever they can to not want to get their car repossessed even if I get told by like say a valet and it says hey yo can you tow this car for me and I and I'm being told he's gonna and I'm getting money for it I mean cuz you're gonna have to come down and get your car out of the tow yard so I mean we're just gonna hope for the best and see but right here ladies and gentlemen this is my new improved little get up it is a little workshop slash a repo station slash a uh, another event a little uh, tow yard now it's not fully secured yet I still am working on that and I eventually want to get more in that but we're gonna go pick up my truck and this is where we're gonna keep my car so we'll be back here just shortly after I get my tow truck and we start heading down to the city Call has been made. I put that uh, owner calls that 
drunk man came in with no shirt. We've asked him to leave multiple times. He is uh, drunk and trying to hug on strippers, and we just want him to leave. Alrighty, sounds good. Now I just did the OSC hook booked your car, and then now you could either make a 911 call or wait till the cops come. Like he's trying to take my car, and I got the paperwork right here. I was about to say, did you want me to just wait until they actually come and try yeah. and escort me out of the building? Yeah, wait for them to escort you out of the building, and that's when you... I was about to say, then you, you can damn near uh, just wait until the cops arrive. Yep, and I got your car on the hook, and I got the paperwork out. I'm going to like go over it like the VIN and whatnot, check your car out, make sure it's legit. So I'll sit here and wait for them to come while they're here. All right, I'll see you in game. What's going on back here? Uh, I'm here for a repossession of this car. Why? What's going on? All right. Oh well, the dude has just got a 911 call on him for being hella drunk and being touchy touchy. Oh, is it the owner of this car? Because he he's got a repossession. What's his name? Uh, his name is Dave. Dave what? Uh, his last name is a little. Uh, his last name is a little weird to pronounce. Froste or whatever. All right. Let me try to figure it out real quick. Dave. Day yeah. before, day or Forsyth? Yeah, Forsyth. Yeah. Hey, day Forsyth. Hey, are you Mr. Forsyth? Hey, you're good. You take the car when you can. All right, sounds good. His car is angry, though. Really? <laughs> Do you got the proper paperwork for this repo? Yes, I do. Hello? Yes, I got the proper paperwork. All right, all right, sounds good. Yep, everything's legit. I got his license plate, the color of the car, I got his name. He's been ducking us for months. How'd you know he was at the club? I I happened to just seen this car driving, and my uh, plate reader went off saying this was the match, and I followed him here. Oh. Yeah, so it's Murphy now. I, I stayed like four or five cars back. He didn't know I was here, and then, well, obviously he went to the club, and I, I don't know what he was doing in there, but obviously you guys are kicking him out, or they're kicking him out. I don't know. Yeah, but apparently... Do you, the, ha do you have some identification? Do you work for Caltrans? No, I, 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 I work, work for... Caltrans? No, I work for my own company. I just He's bought... an independent. He's an independent tow truck. Yep. You're independent. Yep, I'm trying. You, so, you, so you want to cripple the California economy? Is that what I'm hearing? Are oh. you uh, Are you registered in the state of California as a tow truck? Yes, I am. Hmm. I Interesting. I used to work in Liberty City, but I just moved out here because I heard it's much better out here than Liberty. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit better, not too much better. Yeah, well, I, I, I dealt with a lot of, like, uh, those gung violence where I lived and people getting their head stomped on the curve. I, I had to leave. All right, buddy. Well, you have a good night. Be safe, all right? All right. <laughs> he has all the paperwork and everything, and all of his identification goes back to Robert, and there's nothing that we can do about that. All right, we're going to go help man.
well, I got his car. Cops told me I could take it. So now, since the cops came and he saw it was me and whatnot, I think I'm going to do this customer a good favor. So I'm going to go take his car up to some people I know. Let's just say this car is getting chopped. Hey man, get out, get out, out. Get. What? Get. What? This ain't your shop, get. No, I know, but I'm, I'm here for my car. No, you're not here for your car. Yeah, I am, man. I'm, I'm here for my car. No, dude. no, you're not. Out. Yeah, it's 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 that car right there. No. That one right there, that tan one. No, you're out. Why, why, why does it have no doors on it? What would you guys do? We took it apart. We were told to do so. Out. Why, were you, why did you take it apart? We was told to. It was. It was when, By who? When we came in here this morning, there was. A, it's paid off. Why was it even repoed? We, man, we, I just need my car. I don't know who brought it in. I can't tell you who brought it in, but I know when I got here, there was a repo order. Something about you owe someone four G's for none other than you repoing that car to get a trailer, bro brother. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know who brought it. I just know it's here, and I was doing what the orders say, and so I don't lose my job, and well, I chop shop. Watch some. Because I was at the Vanilla Unicorn at the strip club, and they took my car away, and I didn't even get the chance to look at the guy. I mean, he was wearing a vest, and that's all I remember. Well, I mean, but the cops wouldn't let me talk to nobody. I mean, your car. Bullshit. I mean, your car was towed away, sir. Yeah, it was towed away. Well, I can tell you this: we have no tow trucks here, and uh, we don't it was accept a red tow truck. No, nah, we don't got no red tow truck here, bro. I don't know, man. I I swear, I washed a red tow truck, and I mean, uh, I might have to get the cops involved on this one. Well, you, you go ahead because I already called them and told them that you're trespassing. And I want you. You already here. called the cops. Yeah, you're trespassing, man. I told you to leave. You you need to go. Come on, let's go out. Out, let's oh, go. Oh man, it's bullshit. I just want my car. I am packing. I'll get my gun out, and I and you are on my property. I'm just trying to do my job. I'm not the owner, but I'm I'm the co-owner, and I'm just doing what the paperwork said. It told me to take your car, and it told me to chop it. I don't know who brought it in. Hey, hey, out, 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 out. What'd you say, man? Out. I'm sorry. I told I told you to get out. I don't know who brought your I'm car here. Had something in your mouth. No, you I had... don't know either, but I want my car. Well, I can't give you that. I mean, if you want to take it, uh, that's going to be 4 Fine, G's. I guess I will take it. No, 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 sir. <laughs> Fuck off, hard hit. Sir, sir. Fuck off. What'd you guys do to my car? I, I was just doing what was I was told. Hey man, I, I, did you guys, is that one of my doors right there? No, all your stuff is sold, bro. Sold? <laughs> yes. Sold? You sold all my shit? <laughs> hey, I didn't sell it. <laughs> you took off my hood. You took off my doors. Did you take my trunk? To, are you... You took my trunk to all the doors. Hey, everything. I'm just doing what the owner told me to do, and I don't want to lose my job. I didn't sell your doors. It's bullshit. I mean, the keys are still in it. Hey, hey, hey. No. Oh, it's my car. I'm gonna... At least it sounds nice. Did you guys fuck everything else up on it? No, we didn't, we didn't touch your car. We just took the doors and stuff off. So, sir, I'm going to call the cops. Why is it, why is it locked? I'm gonna call the cops because we Unlock. got a chain. No. Get that chain off of there. No, sir. Out. You need to get this chain off of there. No. Oh. Get out, sir. You're gonna hit me, man. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, dude. No, no, dude. Dude, dude, no. 
No. I just need a better look at it. I can't believe you guys did all this. Now what am I supposed to do? If you're getting in, I'm getting in too. Yeah, I'm getting in to take your keys, man. You ain't taking this car. Fuck you, man. Give me my keys. No, man. This car is up for repossession. Oh, man. It's not. I paid it. That's how it's going to be? Yeah, that, that that's how it's going to be, man. Get out. Call the cops, man. I called the cops. And maybe you call the cops. Get out of here, man. You step one more foot in here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull the trigger. Now I'm going to go park your car back. And I'm going to keep the keys on me. You ain't taking this thing, man. Yeah, I sure do got a baseball bat. And guess what? Dude! Dude! What are you doing? Why? You want to come on my shop? You want to come Why try to take your car? My car? Get out of my shop or I'm going to do more damage. Yeah, give, give, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone right now. No, man. Give me your phone. No. Call the cops. You're a car. Oh. oh. There it goes. There we go. Yes, sir. Mute myself. Uh, hello? You guys call 911? Yeah, this guy's trespassing in my body shop. That's not what the 911 call was. Well, that's what I had called in earlier, and no one showed up. He's been trespassing the whole day. He's trying to take some car that I'm working on. I'm saying it's his car, uh, and I'm just doing what I'm told by whatever the paperwork has for my boss. This is the dude from the strip club. Yeah, man. That's the dude with the strip club with, uh, uh yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. You didn't have a yeah. Last time. Yeah, they kicked me out, but here, yeah, ha, 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 I'm here now. Uh, they took my car away. If I, if, if you, you obviously were there to see it, it's over there. there. Yep. I it's over there. It. I do see it. Yes, I do. And look, look, it's all stripped apart, and I had it on video that he was beating the hell out of it, and, and also, also he, he tried, tried to, to shoot, shoot me. me. I don't know what this guy's talking about. You got a gun on you, sir? Yes, I he, do. He does. does. That's for, for protection at my shop. I only use it. Shoot him? No, shoot him. I, I didn't shoot him. I ended him. I told him to leave. I hit him with my bat. Right. He hit me with the bat. See, so he just admitted that. But that's because and he went, I went, I went, I went, I went to, to the hospital, hospital and came back. But that's because he pushed me. That's the reason why I hit him. Mm, you already started hitting my car, and I told you to stop. And then you grabbed your gun out and shot no, at I, me. No, I, I was I was doing work in your car with my mallet, and then you told me that it was your car. No way. I, I just told you I'm doing what I'm told. Yes way. No way. I have it on my phone. Yeah, well, screw that phone. I'm just doing what the paperwork said. It told me to take off your doors. It told me to take off your trunk and your hood. I just work here. I'm not the owner. I just do what's told on the paperwork. And when vehicles get dropped off, I don't even know who dropped the car off. I just came here this morning. It was here, man. I'm just doing what I was told. All right, all right. Um, your what's your name with the dude with the, the cowboy hat or not the hat the no construction hat? Arden Long. A R D E N. All right, Arden. What's your what's the other what's what, Titty Club guy? What's your name? It's <laughs> uh, shut up, man. Uh, Dave Forsyth. All right, Dave. Um, listen. Stand by. Uh, all right, Dave. Check it out. He got a repo order from obviously your bank or some kind of bullshit, right? So he had to repo your shit, right? 
Uh, not to my knowledge, but apparently. Well, we checked his. We when we were at the when we were at the strip club, we checked the order. He had everything, all the paperwork that he needed to repo your car. Yeah, see, here's the paperwork right here. It says, right. I've seen the paperwork. Yeah, it said that he owes 4K because he went to some type of loan or whatever and took it on his car to buy some trailer. And the car was dropped off here, and I'm just doing what I was told to strip it apart. All right. So, anyway, so you have to call your financial institution. Whoever gave you the loan for the car and take it up with him. It's not his problem. He was just getting to doing his job, you know? Right. I guess I don't know. I mean, that's that's still no, bullshit. Uh oh. Yep. All right. So, sir, you have to call the bank or the loan or the credit union, or whoever that you got the loan from, and take it up with them. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like they're scrapping the car to get their money back. That's kind of bullshit. Like, why would they not like at least try, try to make, make an, an attempt, attempt about me? Like, they could have gave me an email, could have gave me a call, could have came to the house, but then they send this... Yeah, I don't know, know if it was this guy or it was some jack-off that decided to fucking hey, take I just came in car. Now, now here, we are. here we are. Hey, I just came in the No, 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 you shut there. up. I'm still pissed off at you. You shot, shot me. You damn near shot me. Nah, I told you to leave. I hit you with my bat. I didn't shoot you. Uh, but you, you shot, shot your, your gun. gun at me. I still see the bullet hole right over there. No, that's been there for months. Uh huh. But all right, uh, your name is Dave, but I'm gonna call you Strip Club Guy. <laughs> so uh, that's how that's I know not, your name. That's not funny. It's kind of funny. Yeah, that's funny. Whatever. It was kind of funny. You shut, shut up, you. you. Hey, give, and then give me a dab. You'll give me be. Dab, that's funny. You'll, you'll be known as tow truck dude. So anyway. <laughs> uh, Fuck up. So look well, I don't even drive uh, a tow truck. I just work here. Some guy dropped it off. Oh, did he? All right. Anyway, moving on. So, Dave, you got to leave. This man's just doing his job. And uh, if you don't want to leave, then I'll have to escort you off the this premises. Bull that's bullshit, man. So you might want to go home, sober up by your financial institution. I'm sober now. I'm definitely sober now. <laughs> well, not the way you're standing. Well, spin. this is my normal stance, man. I'm, oh, you're I'm just old. normally I'm, shaking up. I'm, I'm, I'm 64, <laughs> God damn it. Damn, you look good for sixty-four. Shit. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't make, make them muscles when, uh, you know, doing all that stuff to make me fat and old looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready to go, Dave? Because it looks like I'm walking with you because my car got, you know, pushed. Oh, shit. Greece, let's go. You'll hear from somebody, man. All right, all later. Go. Bye. What you doing, man? Got my spare keys this time. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't worry, I'm calling the cops. Hey, fuck you. Don't worry, I'm calling the cops, man. Yeah, fuck you and the cops, man. Cop. Mm. Oh, oh. Hello? Oh, howdy. You call the police? Yeah, uh, I had an officer here earlier because I repressed this, this guy's car. And the orders okay. was, I, I didn't take the car here. Some some guy in a tow truck dropped it off. I don't know who he was, but, but the order okay. was uh, I was supposed to take off the hood, the He's trunk. Right I was supposed to take off the hood, the trunk, and the doors. And I took that off. Well, he found out where it was. A cop came and told him to leave. I'm just doing my job. And he tried threatening me and all that. He pushed me a few so times. Where's he at now? He stole his car and left. He literally, you'll, you could find it anywhere. It's got no doors, no hood, no windows. His name is uh, uh, Dave, Dave Frost style or Frosty. I don't know. But I know his name's Dave from when the last officer was here. Like the plate or a number or anything from the uh, paperwork? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, one second. All What's right. your name, sir? My, my name is Arden Long. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Uh, 
No, I don't got my ID on me, but uh, it's in the system. I lost my ID last week. I need to get a new one. Can you spell your name for me? Uh, yeah, one second. Hold on. Up there. Andy, if you want to go cruise around, I can get a description and everything if you want to go see if you can find it. Adrian. Um, he said it's missing all of its doors. A R D E. So. Oh, yeah. Missing all of its doors. Gotcha. Yeah. Mr. Long, what was the vehicle make and model? Hold on, yeah, I, 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 there, there's my ID. Uh, and the make of the model, it's a Glendale. It's brown. And the license plate... Sir? Uh, do you hear me? Yes, I do hear you now. Okay. What was the vehicle make and model? The, the vehicle is a Glendale. It's brown. The license plate is 46 Guy Undertaker Roger 390. So just confirming 46 G U R 390. 390. Yep. Okay. And then it, the the description for the name on there is a Dave uh, Frost Isle or Frosty. I don't know how to pronounce that. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Anderson Smith. Yeah, but the last officer is here. He trusts. The vehicle is going to be a Brown Glendale license plate 46 George. Correction, George Robert. 390 46 George Robert. Yeah, but the last cop that was here, he escorted him out of here, got him for trespassing, and told me he couldn't come okay. back, and took it. So he stole, you repossessed the car legally, I'm guessing? Yes, I, I had all the paperwork. Okay. They were at the strip club at the time when I took it. There was cops there. Apparently, he got kicked out. I was there repossessing okay. his car. I showed him all the paperwork. I took it, and he found out where I was. He hit me with his car and then stole it, and he wrecked my whole shop and everything, hitting his car with the walls and the tools and knocking everything over. Okay. Did he steal anything out of here or no? Uh, no. He just wrecked my shop up and stole his own car that he wasn't even okay. supposed to have because it was repossessed. Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can find him. Do you happen to have an... I guess I could just look up. You have his name already. I'll see if I can make sure regarding his address or anything. Yeah, here. Uh, I'll, 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 type, I'll type out his name for you give it to you. Well, I'm gonna type oh, it I already have his name, sir. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go conduct an investigation, see if we can contact oh, okay. him and recover the vehicle, okay? Alrighty. So. Uh, look, here, find okay, if I do manage to find him and recover side, the vehicle, I'll go ahead and give you a call. A bright okay. contact. Yeah, I don't got a phone on me right now, but I'm gonna be here at the shop. I work here all day. Okay, sounds good. So I'll be here when you guys ever find it. Just come back, I'll be here. Alright, if he comes back around or anything, just feel free to call down one back and we'll come back, okay? Oh, for sure, for sure. Alright. Thank you, sir. Alright, hope you find him. Have a nice day, man. You too. He has a gun. All right. You didn't put it in yet, did you? Yep, I did. Ah, oh, damn you! Know. Just start shooting my car up. But get your car. Just have to shoot, shoot it all the hell up. Oh, my car! My car! Now, nah, just keep shooting until they get here. And then, then when they pull up, pull off. My car! My car! My car! Help! Help! He shot my car! He shot my car! He's heading out. They're after you, they're after you run. Damn, this car is fucking fast. It's so lightweight Wait, now. Did it all? No, I didn't get hit, but he almost got me. He shot my car up, man. 
All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help him chase him. Then, all right, well, I'll, I'll be back to uh, to take a statement from you. Okay. All right, I'll be here, man. Sounds good. Another cop just came up. He said, "Are you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He didn't shoot me, but he shot my car. They're like, "We'll be back to get a statement. We're gonna catch that. We're gonna catch him." If you make it away, will we do the second episode? And if you make it away, then when you call the cops on me for some petty stuff, or whatever, and whenever we do something petty for the next episode, then you have a warrant for your arrest. Now, what would be golden if you can make it back and put more shots in my view? Try to make it back there, dude. <laughs> Are they even after you? Are they behind you? Oh, yeah. I'm in a pursuit. Uh huh. I've got three of them on me. I wish I could spectate you. Hopefully, you can get away. <laughs> I was going to try and make it back there and then, like, hold you hostage or something. You could try to kidnap me, but you would have oh. to you would have to hurry up and try, that'd be hard. And the only way you can kidnap me is by picking me up over the shoulders. Oh. Are you on foot? Yeah. Get in your car and get out of here, man. Oh. Oh. He told me to get in my car and get out of here. Ah, oh, my car. He shut my tires, man. Ah, oh, he shot my tires. This thing's not drivable. Are you just chilling over there by the red car? Yep, because uh, my tire uh, popped and I RP'd that I crashed into this area because it popped and swore hey, me out why of don't you Check on that guy over there. <sighs> I think. Yeah, someone's coming. Hey, man. Hey man. Did you just call uh, me for your skin? You know that code about the shots fired? Uh, no. Yeah, and then I was told All to right. leave by another officer, and then this front tire popped, leave. and I hit this uh, little. Pole. I told you to mute. leave because I didn't want you to get hit if there was more shots, you know? Yeah, I feel you, but then the tire popped, and it made me swerve, and I hit this. You, you good? You hurt? I'm just a little winded. I need to sit. I'm just a little winded. All right, do you, want, do you want me to get you some Tylenol or something? If you got a bottle of water. Or... All right, yeah. yeah.
I think so. It ain't water, but I mean, it, it, it would work. Uh, thanks, man. It's just what I need. I was just a little winded. I hit that and I got scared. The gunshots, he came back. Yeah, it's all good. Um, so do you know what happened? Like, so, so earlier today, basically, uh, I came into work. I guess some guy in a tow truck, from what this guy said, a red tow truck, which apparently was at like some scene earlier where this guy was at a strip club and got like kicked out. Well, I don't know nothing about that because I just came into work. There was paperwork on that car that he owned that he was escaping you guys from. I was told to take off the doors, the hood, and the trunk. I did as I'm told because I just work here. I'm not the owner or anything. I just do what I'm told. I'm the worker. And that's what I did. Then he comes and claims that I stole his car and whatnot. I tried shooting him and killing him, and that's not the case. And then he was escorted by another officer to leave my property and leave. Well, then... Like, not even 15, 20 minutes later, he comes back, he beats me up, takes the car, and then he takes off with it. Alright. Then he came back so, and shot my car up, and then that's so what So, I'll say that he's probably meant, oh, jeez, that car just threw the guy off the car, but I'll say, so you're saying that he could be mentally ill or something? Yeah, I think he's <laughs> mentally ill, or there's something wrong with him. Alright. How you doing, All right. man? Uh, assistant Chief with the uh, Los Angeles Police Department, obviously. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you are okay first before we continue. Like, were you hit or you weren't harmed? Uh, yeah, he hit me a few times, but I'm fine. I'm fine. You got, like, he shot you or did he hit you? Oh, he was aiming the gun towards me and he almost got me a few times, but he hit me with his fist, bear on. And I watched, I watched this guy crash. Uh, I pulled up, I didn't know who he was. I told him to, like, leave the area because I didn't want him to get shot if he shot him more. And then he, like, I watched him just swerve and went right into this pillar. Yeah, my front tire popped and then the car just swerved in. Perfect. Do me a favor and sit down because I want to check you out before we continue questioning. Alright. Just take a seat. Don't... Southbound on Power Street. We'll, we'll take care of you. James, right, do me a favor. Right. Check calls for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. He shot me! Bro, I heard that right, didn't I? Oh, I think I did it the wrong one, but you get to my Jeff, right? Yeah. Well, we certainly found him, sir. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys did hey, man. Earlier today... Uh, it was like two o'clock this morning. Yeah, when I got escorted out of the strip club. Right. LAPD is tied up on another priority. You guys can do what you need to do for the pursuit. We'll dispatch units when available. Oh, they just got in my car. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm oh, good. They put the guy. Oh, okay. One, one twenty over twenty. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, I live a rough life, man. Wait, your heart going all the way up? You the guy you fucking repoed my car or somebody man. part of I mean, his crew I mean, repoed my scared, shit, man. man. Alright, alright. I'm gonna give you something for the adrenaline, okay? Alright. Okay. I'm muting myself. Uh, adrenaline. Alright. Um, it, it, should, it should lower. Mute. Can, you, can you mute yourself, Mike? Alright. I did. Um, I, I, I was a, I was an old paramedic. Right. So. All right, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, do you have any pain anywhere, legs, upper body? Since the adrenaline's going to kick in soon, so you're not going to, you're going to feel pain, man. So, yeah, you need to know. It's just my back's a little sore, but, I mean. All right, I'm going to put this uh, C-collar on you, okay? It's going to make sure you don't move your neck and if you have any spinal cord injuries, okay? All righty. All right. A couple beers, man. Fuck. I appreciate all your guys' there, help. There you go, man. So it should stabilize your head so you don't Fuck. move, right? Uh, yeah, this already feels a little better, man. Alright. I'm gonna call County Medical, okay? Alright, sounds good, man. Well, apparently my car was repoed. It all started when I was at the fucking... Shit, my bad, my bad. Damn! Oh, they, oh you're good, you're good. <laughs> Most, <laughs> time, <laughs> I tried to have <laughs> yeah, understandable. and then... I have those. 
It didn't work out. I took my shirt off and All right, is the county everything was going wrong. This you want you want me to call, call uh, is my car. car. Uh, As I was getting escorted uh, out of the strip club, I noticed there was a tow truck in front of my car, and the cops um, wouldn't let me go talk to them. Just, just wait till, just wait till that. Apparently, it was so, up for repossession, right. but should, that's not to my right, knowledge. We're gonna go deal this way. Oh shit! I uh, holy shit! There, everything is invisible. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, <laughs> then I called a cab, and I I I called a buddy of mine, and. Sorry, man. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I called a buddy of mine to go follow this guy and figure out where my car was going. Yeah, that guy over there. Well, he wasn't the one that took my car, apparently. Uh, he's back at home now. Uh, he he followed the guy and they followed him here. Can you two handle this? We have another SWAT call out. Okay, right. Just clean this scene up, please. Do what you gotta do. Um, he's for sure going for Felidade and a solid other weapon. And probably possession of a little fire <laughs> and DUI. Okay, so let's just what happened with that. Alright, so my friend followed him out here and then I was like, alright, well, I'll call a cab. He wasn't able to come pick me up, he had personal stuff. It, not not issue but i called a cab and i got here and then i went inside and the guy seen me and he immediately told me that i didn't need to be here and i said i'm here for my car and when i looked in there and i seen my car in there and they already took the the hood the trunk and all the doors off my car first off he was like and he was like hey man he was like cctv is coming back one thing and uh he's saying he's saying one thing you're saying another he is like i need both he said i'm probably talk to him he said i'm gonna need both of you guys to do some honesty here because uh i was like oh shit my bad did he already put something in the cc uh, ooc he was like yeah he already did i was like oh shit i i didn't even see that my bad he was like no he said no it's all good he was like i'm gonna just need you guys to like kind of keep the story straight because you guys can't 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 lie or anything like that because it's uh, uh, against the rules i said no we're not trying to was like we're just we're trying to make up fucking rp scenes and fuck around with you guys he was like oh i get it and he was like is it like kind of like bugs and stuff and like that i was like yeah i was like uh we're thinking over here that it's more like server 2 bullshit he said no yeah he was like we're more serious over here i got gotcha. you i was like he was like, I appreciate you being honest with me, though. He was like, I'm not going to bash you. I was like, yeah, no. But uh, I t he asked me exactly what happened. I, t I told him from start to finish, like, how it all happened at the fucking <laughs> strip club from and from there. And then I gave him exactly pin uh, pinpoint from pinpoint of what happened throughout our episode, basically. Like, where you were at, where I was at, what happened with me. I found I found you. I had a buddy. Uh, he he found where the car went, and then that's where I went up there. I told him the situation with the cop, and he was like, he was like, so you showed the the video of him beating up your car with a baseball bat, and the cop did nothing about it. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, did you get the cop name? I'm like, no. He didn't even say his name, and he was like, huh, interesting. Continue. <laughs> he was like, all I know is he had a big old beard, but he was kind of funny, and. Like he said, he was on the scene earlier. He's like, "Oh, okay, all right." Anyways, I'm like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty much that. And um, then uh, he was like, "Wait, so do you know that guy over there?" I said, "No, apparently he's the, the the shop owner. He's not the one that took my car, but I don't know who the fuck took my car." And he was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, he was like, so why did you steal it back? And I was like, because I won my car back, man. He was like, you know this is private property, right? And I was like, I get that. I was like, I was just trying to come here and make amends just so I can get the fuck and get my car back. And he was like, that wasn't your intentions, was it? I was like, it was in my brain, but it didn't happen that way. <laughs> and he was like, so he was like, so you know you're going to jail today, right? And I was like, obviously. He was like, all right, well, let's breathalyze you. He's like, when's the last time you drank beer? I was like, or any had any drinks? I said, oh, I don't know, man. I was like, probably this morning. He was like, what time this morning? I was like, probably at like 2 o'clock this morning when I got kicked out of the strip club. And he was like, oh, he was like, oh, I heard about that. 
Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, that was me. And he was like, oh, nice. He was like, so what time was that? It was like 2 o'clock this morning. He's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, yeah. So, uh, got kicked out of there. And I was like, that after at that point. But that's when I lied. And then he gave me a breathalyzer. And I put, I was way over the fucking limit. And I was like 1.0. And he was like, holy shit. Yeah, no. He was like, you just lied to me, didn't you? And I was like, what? What are you talking about, man? And I was like, I only had a couple beers. He said, a couple? <laughs> He said, you're way over the alcohol blood content, dude. He was like, how are you even standing right now? And he was like, I don't know why you're not in the hospital. I was like, I'm just natural at this. He's like, I see. And he ran my name and all that. And he's like, Dave Forsyth. He was like, that's a pretty cool last name. I was like, thank you. I was like, that's actually legit. Out of RP, that's my uncle's last name. He's like, oh, oh wait, sweet. I was like, yeah, he's dead now. He's like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm like, it's all right. I'm living on his legacy as a drunk RP character. He's like, nice. <laughs> I was like, this is probably some shit he would have done if he was, like, probably an idiot like this. I was like, hey, you know, all he wanted to do was just be a drunk guy and work on his tractor and his car. He's like, oh, okay. And then he was like, this was a pretty cool RP scene. He's like, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. He was like, but you guys got to be a little bit more honest next time. I was like, for sure, for sure. I'm fine with that. He was like, so when one person says one thing about the CCTV, he was like, I need to, I need to say, like, all sides of the story to add up. I'm like, okay. Because, like, I was doing it, like, how it was. Like, you, you started shooting me, and but you were doing it how you wanted it. And I, because I, I put in there that you had the baseball bat and you were yeah, threatening I, I, me. I, I put that as a CCT because when the guy, because the cop came over, he said, he ba- he basically told me, but you were talking at the time, so it was kind of hard to hear him a little because you didn't mute yourself, so I was still hearing your conversation, which is good because no. I was hearing from what the cops were telling you and hearing what, well, I didn't hear what they said, but I heard, like, your reactions to what they were telling you, and I was able to hear you, so my video's going to have that, which is cool, but literally I was laying there, and a cop came over, he said, so... He was like, is there any CCTV for that building? I said, I don't know. I said, I'm like the co-owner. I'm not the full owner. It's a new place and whatnot. And then he was like, oh. He was like, because your guys' stories are coming back different. And then basically what I put for the CCTV on my end, because he has to see it, I put... I put the owner Mike shows the cops the CCTV footage. I put it, and it, I basically put it shows me with a bat. I was swinging at you and whatnot. And then I didn't put I didn't put anything about me having the gun. I just said the bat. And then I put later on CCTV footage shows him coming back with a gun, shooting him, and bullets fly towards me. Almost hits uh, my character, and I put his name and everything. And then I put then he got chased by the cops. And then literally another cop told me to leave because he didn't know what I was doing in the area. He didn't know I was there, and he because he was new to the scene or he just got put on or whatever. And then he told me to leave. That's when I left, and then the front tire popped, and then I crashed into the thing. I repeat that I was literally knocked out, which is literally when I hit the thing, I was blacking out. So I was literally telling him I'm blacking out. And then the one cop, he's like, "Are you for real?" I'm like, "Yeah, I told you." I'm like, "My neck." I'm like, "You guys don't, ain't assessing me. Like, you think I'm just." just saying that just to say no i really hurt and then finally he took me to the hospital and whatnot but i was trying to stay on track to, with you i didn't really change anything up so when they were sick because i heard them i heard the one cop he was like well they're saying different stories i don't know who to believe it's a he said she said moment and then i heard the other cop yeah say, i heard that too yeah then i heard the other cop say something and i'm like i'm like, mm, I'm like well and they really got i mean they, they i mean we were saying basically the same story it's just there was parts of the story that maybe weren't adding up and that's what, what the cop told me it was like because it's not adding up and i kind of get it we're trying to as i told as i told the one cop there is no cctv for the chair so how you got someone i got somebody owner mike who is actually the owner there which i don't know i just made him up i was like i don't know how maybe there was cameras i wasn't told but I didn't tell the cop that, but basically when we got the footage somehow, I showed it to him. And the cop on my end, he wasn't really mad at me. He just told me, he was like, oh, he was like, and he, he kept on, he kept on asking if I was okay. Cause he said that, man, this guy's giving you a story. And he said that, is there something wrong with that guy? And I said, yeah. I was like, I think there's something wrong with him. I heard that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I definitely heard that one. <laughs> So like mo- like the cops that were, were over here talking to me throughout when I crashed and everything and you you came back and whatnot basically I mean they didn't say anything about like it being they just said that our stories weren't matching up and they said that but they definitely got stuff on you no matter if the stories match up or not because 
you got a, a firearm that's not yours, even though you're claiming that the firearm's mine. I mean, there's no mm. proof of that. Right. And then, so, basically, you had the firearm, you were shooting, plus you were driving your car, and, and the, I heard one of the other cops talking. It was, like, distant, but I heard him, and he said something about your license and your car. And then I heard another cop go, oh. So, no matter what, even if we didn't give him CC, you're, you were going to jail, and I was basically scot-free. But, to be honest with you, I mean... That you literally showed the cop the footage. Why did they not go off your phone? It was your phone that you took it on. So they, they mm -hmm. technically, they mm -hmm. te technically, I should have went to jail because you did have a footage of me shooting you, and you, you did, and you even told the one cop that they, 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 they didn't ask me about that or anything. And like he looks at it, like it literally, I put it in slash me shows phone uh, footage him sh uh, shooting and beating car with bat, <laughs> and like he's like, oh okay. Like, what? I'm I, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> like, what, you're not gonna do anything? <laughs> and he's he's probably thinking. I said, well, it's his shop. He he could do what he wants. He's telling you to get the fuck out. I would have done the same thing. That's probably his intentions. I'd be like, excuse. Me? <laughs> still, still, bro. Like, come on. Like, at least you know. I like, I mean, like, from, I mean, from the get go, when we went to the strip club. They didn't check any of my information when I was playing as the oh. as, as I was playing as the tow truck driver. I was gonna be a legit tow truck driver, which my company is still gonna be legit. It's just I happened to have been working it's with some chop funny. shop to make some money, and then I took that car to the chop shop to make some money. But I mean, the cops are ones that kind of changed the role play because I was gonna have you basically stop me from trying to steal your car and maybe them take you to jail and then me go scrap it and then maybe another episode you go down to my shop mm -hmm. and you see your car is scrapped there but then they kind of just changed it all and didn't let you want to come role play with me and they said no they told me to get out of there they said i got the paperwork but they and 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 the one cop over here when i was trying to tell him he was asking me questions when i was talking to him he's like so you got the paperwork and i was i was gonna pull out the clipboard and tell him he's like no nah. he's like the other cop said that he saw all the paperwork and i never once showed anybody any paper i had i had the paperwork in my hand and i was giving them the information that, I, that you gave me about your car and whatnot but anyone could have said hey what's your name and then okay this is the car he's driving and this is the plate number and this is the make and model and whatnot and i'm gonna say he owes 4g just making up a story they didn't question me about that they said yep yep it's legit yep you can go you can go yep yep you can go and then they weren't letting you come see me, so I left. I said, okay. That's when I came up with the idea, like, let's take your car to the chop shop, and then I'll, I'll, I'll chop it up and whatnot. And then, but, I mean, the cops are one that basically caused all this to happen that way, but, I mean, it was still fun. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, now now you're just going to know that, I mean, you don't got proof that it was him, but you got a, you got a tiny bit of a visual because it was dark out and whatnot that you saw that it was uh, your neighbor, but you have no proof, but you just think. And then anytime in the future we do recordings, you can be like, I could have swore I saw you tow my car, man. It took my car away, man. I went to jail for it. <laughs> and then calls problems with me. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then the funny thing is, what I should do is like, in the next episode, like after I tell you I don't know what you're talking about and all that, and tell you nah, literally leave and say I'm going to work, but then take a break and show up with the tow truck. Like, hey, wait a minute. I may be drunk, but I seen that. I seen that tow truck before. No, like, I seen that what tow the truck. Fuck. Like you're the one that took my car away. You took it to the chop shop. Um, but I don't know what you're talking about. Then you'll try to like call the cops and snitch on Sab me. Sabotage your, your that or sabotage your tow truck. Like, like a pop a whole entire and, and you drive away and not realize it until you get halfway down the road. And I was like, the fuck? Like, what's going on with my tow truck? Like, why is my f tire flat? <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Let's see, do I want to bring out another character? Dicky mm. uh, Paco's in for a while. We got Philly. Alrighty, well, there you guys have it for this video. This was LARP, and this was the craziest shenanigans that happened. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and. We'll see you guys on the next one.